<laughs> yeah, it's that time, dude. Don't believe the lies to see. I can be more than a Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you didn't know, my name is Alex. And also, if you did know, my name is still Alex. And today we're going to be checking out Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah. So I know I look like Ace Ventura because that's what I'm going for. Yes! Yes! Can you feel that, buddy? Huh? Forgive me, I've had a bit too much caffeine. Guys, there are a select few series that I have not checked out. The huge ones. Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Star Wars. With Harry Potter, I have seen the first one and a little bit of the second one, but that was in college where every single day I looked like Slater from Dazed and Confused. Fucking blasted out. Point being, I don't remember anything and my wife is the biggest Harry Potter fan, right? So she's kind of upset that I'm checking these out with you guys instead of her, but she also likes us making money. <laughs> so guys, today we're gonna be checking out Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. It's gonna be a good one, man. I'm excited. I don't know anything about this world, and I'm already excited to go to like the wizarding world of Harry Potter and a bunch of shit like that, so I need to watch the movie so I know what the hell is happening. And not only that, but I know that they just came out with a brand new Harry Potter game, and everybody is saying that it's so good, which is a perfect segue to the sponsor of today's video, G2A. Now guys, G2A is a marketplace for digital products. Think about it as like Amazon, but for games and software, right? Now check this out. There are sellers right now offering Harry Potter Legacy Steam game codes for discounted prices. Look at this, 23% off right here. And the coolest thing about G2A is they are offering a contest for Harry Potter fans where five different people are gonna get an all expenses paid trip to Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida to visit the wizarding world of Harry Potter. I'm talking all expenses paid. G2A is covering tickets, flights, hotels for two people, and they're doing that five different times. Now, the way to enter is super easy. All you have to do is literally buy absolutely anything on the G2A website during the Harry Potter campaign, which ends on February 26th. So time is of the essence, you know, but you got plenty of it, kind of. You're gonna register your purchase on the contest website, answer a short contest question, and don't forget that when you're registering to use your complete purchase order number on the registration page because that's what's gonna be your contest ID, right? Coolest thing about all this is you can enter as many times as you want. You could buy 87 different things and that could be 87 different entries for your chance to win. Pretty cool, right? So guys, you know what I'm gonna say next. Link is at the top of the description. If you wanna go check out G2A, dive into their marketplace, get discounted games or software, or even get an opportunity to win a trip to the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Just, I, just, I literally just wanted to provide value for Harry Potter fans, and I knew that Harry Potter fans would be on this video. So, and with all that being said, guys, if you want access to the full length movie reactions, link to the Patreon will be at the top of the description where you can also vote for the next movie we watch. Let's get it. Let's watch this small little British boy become a wizard. It's cool because this movie is a classic for so many people. As a kid, I had the books growing up with my name written on the pages just to be like everybody else because I was a jackass, but never read them. Oh shit, I didn't even see you there, dude. I want to say his name, but I'm afraid I'm going to say something fucking stupid. What the- who the hell is Gandalf? Is there a Gandalf in Harry Potter? Okay, okay, that's Gandalf. I'm not a fucking moron. Are you sure about that? What the hell? He's a light thief. <laughs> My dude just E.T. down below. There won't be a child in our world who doesn't know his name. He's far better off growing up away from all of that. What? I know that he goes with a, a dumbass family, right? Why would he not be good growing up with all the wizards and shit? Because he'd be so famous, he'd be just a, a, a dick or what? Up. Get up. Oh my God, that's right. Yeah, he stays in a room under the stairs. Wake up, cousin! We're going to the zoo! Look at your fat ass jumping up and down, causing all this dust to come down, dude. Oh my god. Body. Dude is so spoiled. How many are there? 36. Counted them myself. 36! But last year, last year I had 37! What a fucking piece of shit. You want a hundred gifts wrapped if they're a piece of rice? A jackass kid. 
I'm warning you now. Oh, boy. I thought he was gonna tell him to drive. Watching people press their ugly faces in on you. Can you hear me? <gasps> Whoa. He's kind of like Eliza Thornberry. Mommy, Dad, come here! I can't believe what this snake yeah. is doing! Should feed this fat piece of shit to the snake himself. Why would that chubby little bitch not be screaming? If I was in a giant snake's cage, I would be screaming bloody murder, dude. What happened? I swear I don't know! Uh, what? He gird. <laughs> he literally growled. There's no such thing as magic. Dude, that sucks. Dude, I want to slap that kid in the face. Normally, I, I don't want to abuse children, I, I promise. But I'd like to strike him. Oh, fucking rumple foreskin looking ass. What? You go to smeltings. <laughs> My dude honked. <laughs> That's his letter to Hogwarts, right? And don't these dumbass people try to hide it? Oh, he's got tape on his glasses. So why would Hagrid and Dumbledore drop him off at these fuckholes house? He's of age now, he's ready to enter Hogwarts. I guess we'll see. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Give him the damn letter. If you don't like him, you can get rid of him now. Doesn't make any sense. You guys are asshats. You are super creepy, dude. In my opinion, best day of the week. Why is that, Dudley? Because there's no post on Sundays. Right you are, Harry. Your best day of the entire week is a day that Harry doesn't get his letter? You need more to fill out your day, dude. And I think your wife needs to fuck you every once in a while. Dude, you're sitting on your mom's lap because you're afraid of some envelopes. Such a little bitch. That's it! We're going away where they can't find us! Oh, they'll find you. They got 78 owls sitting out front, man. Where did y'all go? <laughs> what the heck? I'm gonna stay in some damn Alcatraz fucking prison island to keep Harry from these letters? That is ridiculous. I you wish, Harry. Aww, it's his birthday. He made himself a sand cake. <laughs> you just see the bottom of that kid's pajamas just turn brown. He just shits himself. You are breaking and entering. And you are kidnapping. Dry up, Dursley, you great prune. <laughs> and you just attempted murder. <sighs> Baked it myself, words and all. Did he bake him a birthday cake? Aww. Happy, uh, dude, that's so nice. No such thing as magic? What about now, douche canoe? It's an insult I just learned. You told me my parents died in a car crash. A car crash killed Lily and James Potter? I have to say something. Hey, you little shit, that's not your cake. He's going to the finest school of witchcraft yeah, and wizardry in the world. Bent over like a dog eating it, or like you're gonna get railed in the ass. Ew, dude, you are literally like a little pig. Okay, in my sub my subconscious told me. <sighs> We're a bit behind schedule. Let's be off. Unless you'd rather stay, of course. No, hell no, dude. I'd rather fucking take pliers to my willis rather than stay with these guys. And they bring if they desire. Either an owl, a cat, or a toad. Oh, Harry picks an owl. If you had your choice of a pet, an owl, a cat, or a toad, I understand that the cat people want to pick the cats, but who the fuck would pick a toad? That is the dumbest pick. 100% pick an owl. They're birds of prey. Dude, that's so cool. Oh, God. Professor Dumbledore gave me this. 
Dumbledore's like top of the mountain, right? He's like the end all be all of Hogwarts, correct? Vault 687. <laughs> I actually kind of like the little goblin. Lamp, please. Lamp, please. This way. Watch your Willis. Oh, shit. Dude's got stacks. Vault 713. What's in there, Hagrid? Can't tell you, Harry. Vault 713. Something tells me we're going to end up figuring out what's in there. Curious little package that Hagrid just got. Why don't you run along there and wait? I just got one more thing I got to do. Won't be long. 382 BC. Jesus. See, this is what I want to do. I want to go to the Wondering World Wizardry. I want to go to Harry Potter World and get a wand and like a cloak. Hello. I wondered when I'd be seeing you, Mr. Potter. My dude comes in so clean. Just whoosh. hello, Mr. Potter. Cheers. You don't know how to do shit. Apparently not. <laughs> oh! No, no, definitely not. Is it the wand or his inexperience that's leading to that? I wonder. Some special ass wand. Yeah, okay, if there's a world famous Hogwarts famous kid named Harry Potter who everybody knows, of course you should try the special wand on him. Curious. Curious! Phoenix, whose tail feather resides in your wand, gave another feather. Just one other. To who? It's brother gave you that scar. His brother gave you the scar. Oh, it's, uh, uh, Voldemort, right? Harry, happy birthday. <gasps> yeah, that's so sick. It wouldn't have the same effect. Imagine he pulls up with a toad. Harry, happy birthday. Herbert. It's like, ew, no. I want that giant booger of an animal. Voldemort started to gather some followers. Brought him over to the dark side. All right, so he started his own cult. Parents fought against him. Oh. Nobody lived once he decided to kill him. Oh, Jesus. Except you. Oh, that's why he's famous as hell. Because he's the only one who lived against Voldemort. You're the boy who lived. Whoa. That's cool. I'm sensing like there's gonna be a real identity crisis at some point in one of these movies. Like Harry's gonna be like, why am I chosen? I'm not special. Platform nine and three fours. Ah, uh, this is the ginger kid. Uh, Ron. Oh. He's not Fred, I am. Honestly, woman, you call yourself our mother. <laughs> I'm only joking. I am Fred. Oh, you little bastard. Now, all you've got to do is walk straight at the wall between platforms nine and ten. Is there any people that just imagine he runs into the wall, owl fucking smushed to it, blood everywhere, he breaks his nose? Jesus. Ah, that's so cool. It's funny to like watch this movie because I like the nine and three quarters, you see that on a lot of t-shirts and people have tattoos of that. So like to see where it actually came from, all this stuff is pretty sick. Excuse me, do you mind? Everywhere else is full. Not at all. Come on, dude, sit down. Let the friendship start. Anything off the trolley, dears? No, thanks. I'm all set. We'll take the lot. Whoa. Dude, Harry just balled out. Yeah, Ron, I got you. Hey, bitch, leave all of it. Bertie bought every flavor beans. They mean every flavor. Spinach, liver, and tripe. Oh, oh, bean boozled. That's like the Harry Potter jelly beans, okay. Sun. Hermione. Sunshine, daisies, butter, mellow. Turn this stupid fat right yellow. Well, it's not very good, is it? Of course. <laughs> Ron's like, can you believe this bitch? Who the hell invited her? You've got dirt on your nose, by the way. Did you know? Just there. 
Or maybe that's shit from brown nosing and Harry Potter's bum. They are Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. Oh, that blonde little slick back bitch is a, is a nuisance, right? The house with the most points is awarded the house cup. Trevor! <laughs> Trevor. <laughs> That's actually a funny name for a toad. For Christmas one year, my brother-in-law's got me a, a scarf and they were like, Hey, we figured you were a Hufflepuff dude. Here you go. I'm a Hufflepuff dude. I didn't know if it was an insult or not. Red hair and a hand-me-down robe. You must be a Weasley. Aw, dude, fuck you. Find out that some wizarding families are better than others, Potter. You don't want to go making friends with the wrong sort. I can help you there. Uh, no. <laughs> Slide off, bro. Holy shit, that's a lot of kids. Look at that. Hats off to the damn cooks or chefs or whoever's giving all those kids food. That's a shit ton of kids. That the third floor corridor on the right hand side is out of bounds. It's a scraggly ass cat. I want to be as vulgar as possible. That's a hairy ass pussy. Oh no. Okay, relax. Mental that one. I'm telling you. <laughs> Gryffindor! <laughs> Draco Malfoy. Y'all aren't even going in alphabetical order. It's just some random ass order. Seems like it's not the best method. It's all here in your head. And Slytherin will help you on the way oh, to greatness. Shit. And shit. Is he supposed to be in Slytherin? Better be Gryffindor! Damn. You think if he didn't say that he didn't want to go to Slytherin that he actually would have been put there? That would have been wild. Let the feast begin. What? Oh shit, chicken wings. That's gotta be a wet dream for Harry. He doesn't have to prepare food for everybody. He just gets to dig in. Oh, that's Professor Snape, head of Slytherin House. One knows it's the dark arts he fancies. He's been after Quirrell's job for years. The dark arts. Oh, oh Jesus. My dude popped out the chicken wings. What the hell? Nearly headless. How can you be nearly headless? Like this. Is it hanging off or something? Or... Oh, God. Oh, and to keep an eye on the staircases. They like to change. Oh. Holy shit. Seems like a liability issue. Is there anywhere in the world that has like a changing staircase like that that's mimicked Harry Potter? Because that would be sick. Aww. Does he name his owl? Dude, you gotta be so stoked. You're not living under stairs anymore. You don't have to deal with those dumbass people. You're famous as hell. You got money out the ass. Like, can you imagine the look and I'm gonna go space if we were late? That was bloody brilliant. Oh, thank you for that assessment. <laughs> <laughs> there will be no foolish wand waving or silly incantations in this class. Okay, I love Snape already. He didn't take any bullshit from these little delinquent youths. Maybe some of you have come to Hogwarts in possession of abilities so formidable that you feel confident enough to not pay attention. He's taking notes. He's writing down what you're saying, bro. Tell me, what would I get if I added powdered root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood? Hermione, put your goddamn arm down. Where, Mr. Potter, would you look if I asked you to find me a bezoar? <laughs> Fame isn't everything, is it, Mr. Potter? Clearly, Hermione knows. Seems a pity not to ask her. Oh, damn. Sassy little dude. Note that five points will be taken from your house. D to stop smiling with your two little buck teeth, bro. What does Snape have against Harry? I rather passing home. What's Seamus trying to do to that glass of water? Turn it to rum before. Fuck! <laughs> okay. This is such a cool world. I could totally imagine being 10, 11, 12 years old, being like, I wanna go to Hogwarts and just getting lost in this world. Now, I was too busy watching my parents fight over uh, alcohol and infidelity to be involved in the Hogwarts world. Welcome to your first flying lesson. Oh, let's go. Stick your right hand over the broom and say up. 
With feeling. What does it mean with feeling? Up! Shut up, Harry. <laughs> Mr. Longbottom. <laughs> the kid didn't know what the hell he's doing. He didn't know how to come back down, probably. Maybe if the fat lump would give him this a squeeze, he would remember to fall on his fat ass. <laughs> give it here, Malfoy. I think I'll leave someone for long bottom to find. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Harry Potter? Follow me. Of course, Malfoy doesn't get in trouble. Potter, this is Oliver Wood. I have found you a seeker. Oh, I thought he was going to get in trouble. Oh, that's sick. You've never even played Quidditch. What if I make a fool of myself? You won't make a fool of yourself. It's in your blood. Dude, she's, they got a good team to keep around. Harry, Ron, and Hermione, they like check everybody's boxes. They have, they're the whole package together. Does anybody feel like we shouldn't be here? Oh, let's go. Isn't that one of the professors? It's Filch's cat. Oh, okay, that's an actual cat. See, an important rule in life, the good people don't always follow the rules. It's like they're being sneaky little devils just going around, getting lost, exploring, doing what they're not supposed to do. But a lot of times that leads to something good. I feel like that's a good life lesson. Although people take that and go do crazy shit, but if used properly. It was locked and for good reason. Oh shit! Three-headed beast? It's like the dogs in Hercules that were guarding hell. If you two don't mind, I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed. Or worse, <laughs> expelled. Oh, that's worse. Okay. You sassy little girl, dude. She needs to sort out her priorities. <laughs> Oh, the tiny little uh, golden wonder ball, right? <laughs> oh, that's not the golden ball. Where's the little, uh, I know that there's a word for it. It's like a f uh, fidget. F ah, there we go. The golden snitch. Snitch. what I say, fidget? You catch this, the game's over. You catch this, Potter. And we win. Oh. Just instant win? That is sick. The swish and flick. Everyone? The swish and flick. Swish and flick. Could also be rules for how to pleasure a woman. Swish, flick. You're saying it wrong. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. You do it then if you're so clever. Wingardium Leviosa. Ron, you better listen, brother. Shit, Hermione knows her shit. Thank God, Leviosa. Well done, Thank dear. God. <laughs> Jesus, is that the same kid that blew himself up before? My God. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> she's a nightmare. Honestly. Aw, dude, Why she's right she behind you. <laughs> dude. I think she heard you. Yeah, no shit. That's so sad. Ah, oh, dang, floating pumpkins and all the Halloween stuff? That's sick! In the dungeon! Turn around in the dungeon! I thought you ought to know. What? Trolls not supposed to be in the dungeons? Oh, God, okay. Jesus, the troll's massive. God, nasty ass Shrek looking giant pig lizard. Hey! Pea brain! Pea brain. Gotta come up with something better. Hey, bitch face! Ah! <laughs> Just poke his eyes with your wand or something, dude. Oh, his nose. Ew. Do something! <laughs> How is this dumbass troll missing him? You're holding him with one hand and smacking him with the other. Wingardium Leviosa! Mm. Mm. 
Ah, a real life application of the skills that they learned. Oh God, dude, if you fall like that, that's going straight through your brain, dude. That's, oh God. Okay, probably wouldn't be too children and family friendly if it fucking pierced through the back of his skull. Oh my goodness. Explain yourselves, both of you. Well, what it is, it's my fault, Professor McGonagall. Damn, took one for the team, dude. Is it me? It was an extremely foolish thing to do. I would have expected more rational behavior. How did you get cut, Snape, and what the hell does that mean? Five points will be taken from Gryffindor. As for you two gentlemen, five points will be awarded to each Ah! Person. So for this whole situation, they're coming out five points ahead. Damn, that's dope. Good for you to get us out of trouble like that. Point you, we did save her life. Mind you, she might not have needed saving if you hadn't insulted her. What a friend's fool. That's, that's facts right there, though. I know that y'all have relationships with people where the, everything you say to each other is derogatory, but it's in a playful manner, right? Hey, dude, you look like shit today. Hate you. Have a good one. It's a broomstick. That's not just a broomstick, Harry. It's a Nimbus 2000. Oh, nice. That's the one that all those kids had a half chub about. Ew. We're not going to talk about kids and half chub. That's, no, never mind. I felt the same way before my first game. What happened? I, uh, I don't really remember. Why? I took a bludger to the head two minutes in. Oh. Woke up in hospital a week later. Oh my god, okay. This is cool. I know that there's like a real life version of Quidditch where people are like running and using hula hoops and shit, which is not cool at all. I think they also have to be on a broom. It's stupid. If you can't fly, Quidditch is dumb. The bludgers are up, followed by the golden snitch. Remember, the snitch is worth 150 points. The seeker who catches the snitch ends the game. Damn, that almost gives me a little bit of anxiety. I'm like, Jesus, that thing moves fast. <laughs> Ew, you nasty ass teeth. It's Snape. Oh, you cheating little bitch. Snape, dude, come on, that's petty. She pokes his asshole with the with the stick. <laughs> oh shit, she's gonna set him on fire. You gonna vomit? He got. He's got the snitch. Harry Potter receives 150 points on his first game, dude. Every single girl in Hogwarts is gonna want to touch Harry's Willis. He's a badass. He's nice. He's smart. He's a fucking athlete. He's got a badass scar on his head. What that dog is guarding is strictly between Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. Nicholas Flamel. Nicholas Flamel. Sounds like an R&B artist. Y'all heard Nicholas Flamel's new album? So good. Dude, Christmas at Hogwarts would be insane, bro. I can't imagine the spread that they're eating on Christmas. Oh, that's sick. Are they playing chess? I want a badass chess set. I would rock y'all at chess. I'm sure I would I would get slapped around by some by some of y'all too, but. Oh, that's sick. Good. You can help Harry then. He's going to go and look in the library for information on Nicholas Flamel. We've looked a hundred times. Not in the restricted section. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. When kind, genuine, authentic people don't play by the rules, that's how you change the world. I've got presents. Yeah. Aww. That looks like some itchy ass sweater, on. What is it? Some kind of cloak. Oh, uh, oh my god, that is so cool. That's an invisibility cloak. I'm invisible. In actuality, it's a green screen. <laughs> uh, and now we're going to the restricted section. Okay, this movie's cool as a 29 year old. Damn near 30 years old, I'm enjoying this. I feel like I'm a kid watching it.
fuck? What are you in You can't hide. Oh my god, if I had an invisibility cloak, the amount of people I'd spy on, it would be insane. What would be the first thing you did if you had an invisibility cloak? Some of y'all would probably go to banks and steal a bunch of shit, put it under there, and walk out. Some of y'all would probably go spy on some ex-girlfriends. Who knows? What would you guys do? I'll read through the comments down below. Best idea wins 50 bucks. I got y'all. Drop your cash apps. Or Venmo. Whatever. Are those his parents? Yeah, it's gotta be. His dad's got the same glasses on. Ron! You've really gotta see this, Ron! You've gotta see this! <laughs> He's got a hard on. He's like beating his dick at night. Harry! What are you doing? <laughs> there. You see them, don't you? That's, That's me! You... Holy, I'm head boy. I'm bloody hell. I'm Quidditch captain too. Wait, what? Hello, good. <laughs> Holy shit, my dick is seven inches! Soft! Hi, Hedwig. Hedwig. That's the name of the owl. If anyone cares to notice, my eyebrows have completely grown back. <laughs> oh, God. Bald ass kid. Nicholas Flamel is the only known maker of the Sorcerer's Stone. Ah. Uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, okay. It will transform any metal into pure gold and produces the elixir of life, which will make the drink for mortal. That's what Fluffy's guarding on the third floor. That's what's under the trap door. Ah, uh, and that's what Snape wants, so he can be rich as hell with all the gold and, and bitches and stuff, and then he can be immortal? Going right to Hagrid, aren't we? <laughs> Give us the information, tell us if we're right or not. Snape is one of the teachers protecting the stone. He's not about to steal it. What? Oh, damn, I didn't even notice. That's a big-ass wrinkly dog. What the hell is that? <gasps> a dragon? Aw, he's cute. Why the... Who the fuck would want to get rid of a dragon? Oh, bless him. Look, he knows his mummy. <laughs> Hello, Norbert. Norbert. That's a great name. Only thing better than Norbert would have been... <laughs> Nah, Norbert's good. Worse, Malfoy knows. I don't understand. Is that bad? It's bad. Good evening. Oh my god. You are such a little bitch, bro. Look at him smirking in the corner. I want to slap you, dude. Therefore, as punishment for your actions. Minus five points. 50 points will be taken. 50? Each. Each? Ah, damn. All four of you will receive detention. <laughs> You too, bitch. I wonder what your parents are like. Do we ever see Malfoy's parents? Was it uh, on detention would find you hanging by your thumbs in the dungeons? God, I'll miss the screaming. <laughs> what? <laughs> I miss terrorizing children. Want to hang you by your little britches. Hear you scream of pain and curiosity. What? Why? It's super weird, dude. We can't go in there. Students aren't allowed. And there are... Werewolves. Werewolves? Again, okay, Michael Jackson pops out, starts doing Thriller. Cause that's the devil! Ew. That's unicorn blood, that is. What? I found one dead a few weeks ago. Who the fuck would kill a unicorn? He cares about this. This is servant stuff. Dude, this isn't detention. This is like going on a badass mission. I'd say you were scared. Scared, Potter. Potter? Not scared, Potter. Pish posh, Potter. Wait, his scar hurts? Is that a unicorn back there? What the fuck is he eating? Is that, is that Voldemort? Oh. What are these guys called? Half man, half horse? Is it a centur- Cent Centurion? Snape doesn't want the stone for himself. He wants the stone for Voldemort. Oh. Why does Snape want Voldemort to be alive? As long as Dumbledore's around, you can't be touched. So would Voldemort try to kill Dumbledore and then Harry? I'd always had Hogwarts end of year exams were frightful, but 
I found that rather enjoyable. Oh my God, shut up, Hermione. I thought that that exam, you know, it was fun, but it was educational. It was a little fun educational for us. Shut up, bitch. This is about the Sorcerer's Stone. How do you know? Someone's going to try and steal it. I don't know how you three found out about the stone, but I assure you it is perfectly well protected. I love it when older people wear their glasses like that. It is well protected, I assure you. Go back to your dormitories. Huh? People will think you. Up to something. Such weird energy and hostility between them. Why? Trevor, shh. Go, you shouldn't be here. <laughs> Neither should you. Fuck. Mind your own business, dude. Neville, I'm really, really sorry about this. Petrificus totalis. Take your teddy bear pajamas, touch yourself, and go back to bed. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You're a little scary sometimes. You know that. Brilliant, but scary. I thought you noticed he's a badass. Brilliant, but scary. So how would you describe Ron's role in their trifecta friendship, right? Harry is the most famous one. He's the most badass one. Hermione knows all the shit, all the spells, got all the knowledge. What is Ron's role? What does he do? So I'd sit back and make fucking snarky quips. Does it seem a bit <laughs> quiet to you? The hall. Yeah, there's no more music playing. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. dude, that looks like, that looks straight up like cum. What the hell? This is Devil's Snare. You have to relax. If you don't, it'll only kill you faster. Kill us faster? Oh, now I can relax. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Just relax a bit. It's like a shark attack. If a great white's ripping you to pieces, just relax. He's not relaxing, is he? Apparently not. Oh, I've got to do something. What? I've got to do something. Let me help you relax, Ron. <laughs> Lucky we didn't panic. <laughs> hurry up! Why do you have to hurry up? What happens if those little flying bugs just gets a hold of you? Okay. It's a chessboard. Chessboard? Oh, who's playing life-size chess like that? Oh, you have to, they're not gonna let you through, you have to defeat them? All right, we'll slap their ass around in some chess, let's get to the door. Where's Magnus Carlsen when you need him? He's going to sacrifice himself. No, you can't, there must be another way. Do you wanna stop Slate from getting that stone or not? He's not gonna kill you, Ron, he's gonna kill your piece. Not me, not Hermione, you. Damn, that's a gif, isn't it, or a meme? Not me, not Hermione, you! <laughs> the hell, that knocked him out? You'll be okay, Harry. You're a great wizard. You really are. It's wholesome. Aww. Books and cleverness. They're more important things. Friendship and bravery. Y'all are some sophisticated ass kids. All y'all got your heads on straight. It's refreshing to see. Instead of y'all just fucking flicking each other's beans, eating Tide Pods and doing a bunch of weird shit. You? No. The stuttering teacher. During the Quidditch match, Snape tried to kill me. Mm, no, dear boy. I tried to kill you, even with Snape muttering his little counter curse. Snape was... To oh, save fuck you and your turban, dude. I can say that because I'm Middle Eastern. Oh, is it? It's in his pocket? Master, you are not strong enough. I have strength enough for this. Master? Is Voldemort his master? What's underneath your turban? Oh, wait. Fuck? See what I must do to survive. Live of another. I'll be a parasite. I was gonna say, so you're a parasite, okay? That is a, dude, that is, 
This is not good. Damn, so I was wrong about Snape from the jump. Snape's been good the whole time. Would you like to see your mother and father again? Together. What are you gonna say? Because I can kill you and send you right to them. We can bring them back. All I ask is for something in return. No, he's lying. No, don't do it. Keep that in your corduroys, buddy. He is fucking with you. Kill him! Dude, you're murdering kids. Oh my god, he's searing his face. Holy shit, Harry. Okay, first movie and Harry's murdered somebody. Oh shit, what does that mean? What does that do? What happened? Voldemort went through him, what does that mean? Get well soon. How long you been in that bed, Harry? Jesus. Ah, Bertie Botts, every flavor bean. I was most unfortunate in my youth to come across a vomit flavored one. Ew, yeah, what the hell? I could be safe with a nice toffee. It's gonna be vomit again, isn't it? Hmm, a lot. Oh. Earwax. Ew. Disgusting, dude. Have y'all had the Harry Potter jelly beans? The dead fish is the most fucking disgusting thing I've ever put in my mouth. I put a lot of weird shit in my mouth. Another year gone. And now, as I understand it, the house cup needs a warding. This is the only part of the Harry Potter series that I know. Isn't it at the end of every movie? Gryffindor wins! In fourth place, Gryffindor. Oh. Fourth place? What? And in first place, with 472 points, Slytherin House. Yeah! Nice one, mate. Shut up, dude. You're annoying to look at. And I have a few last minute points to award to Miss Hermione Granger for the cool use of intellect. While others were in grave peril, 50 points. Oh shit, okay. Ron too? To Mr. Ronald Weasley, for the best played game of chess that Hogwarts has seen these many years, 50 points. Sacrificed himself, hell yeah. And then Harry? To Mr. Harry Potter, for pure love and outstanding courage. Suck it, Malfoy. Suck it. 60 points. Damn, 160 points. Okay. I, I'm terrible at math. I don't know. That, that put him in first place, obviously. We tied with Slytherin. Oh. I award 10 points to Neville Longbottom. Neville! Yo, you won it for him, dude. Good, man. I'll clap for you, Neville. You got the shit end of the stick this whole movie, dude. Aw, oh, that gave me goosebumps, bro. Gryffindor wins. <laughs> Gryffindor. Why did I do West Side? Come on now. Hurry up. You'll be late. Train's leaving. Go on. Go on. Come on. Oh wait, end of the year, is it like summer or something? Does he have to go back to the dumbass's house? The Dudleys or Dunsleys or fuck that. Can't you just stay at Hogwarts? He's gotta go back to the house and be like, yo bitches, I learned everything under the sun. You fuck with me? I'll take your penis off, uncle, and I'll put it on her. Then we'll see who's the man of the house. If that dolt of a cousin of yours, Dudley, gives you any grief, threaten him with a nice pair of ears to go with that tail of his. Hagrid, you're not allowed to do magic away from Hogwarts. That's cool, man. I'm saying the life lesson, a good, authentic, genuine person that does not abide by the rules. They win the game of life. I'm telling you, man. I don't even know exactly what that means, but in my mind, it makes sense. 
That is sick. Two and a half hours, but that went by pretty damn quick, man. Guys, what came first? Like the books or the movie? I think the books came first, right? Were the books mega popular, which led to the movies? Or were the movies so popular that everybody went back and read the books? I don't really know how that goes. That was a super cool movie, man. So first and foremost, I think that you got to keep in mind the year that it came out. This came out in like 2001. It still holds up today. Like I said, 29 years later, or that's not right. Well, a long time later, the movie is great. As a 30 year old, I'm enjoying it, man. I'm not 30 yet, but 29. It absolutely takes you to like this fantasy world, which makes it seem like it's it's just so fun. Like I want to go to Hogwarts. I want to shrink back down to 12 years old, go to Hogwarts, learn wizardry. Like it's such a cool concept. One that, that really highlights the fact that good kids get rewarded and the bad fucking disgusting youth, greedy ass bastards get disciplined, right? And at the end of the day, like I said, that life lesson of not abiding by the rules, it's a its a good moral lesson for people, but not having ill intent in doing that, but trying to better people, trying to get to the truth, trying to actually understand what's going on and, and, and learn. I'm excited to keep watching these movies with you guys. If that's something you want me to continue with, drop some comments down below. I want to say thank you guys so much for checking out this movie with me. And with all that being said, if you are watching at this point in the video and you are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button to check out the rest of the Harry Potter journey with me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace! Don't